When you start your brand new adventure in Starfinder, it is likely that you are going to be in the Pact Worlds somewhere. The Pact Worlds is a densely populated solar system, and it has significant economic and religious implications to the universe as a whole. It's also possible that you're playing in your own homebrew game or somebody else's homebrew game, and none of the Pact Worlds means anything to you. Regardless of wherever you are playing in the Starfinder multiverse, there are some universal histories that apply no matter where you are, or rather their lack of history. Let's get into it. History in Starfinder is broken. No matter where you go, the literal thousands of planets that you could visit, the strange realms of the gods, at some point, if you start looking into the history of Starfinder, you're only able to go back a few hundred years and then it gets a little bit muddy. Most written down or digital history past this point has disappeared or for the things that can still be found, they are contradictory. And any mystical readings trying to divine information from the past, they also don't work either. They give mixed messages. This period in time is referred to as the gap. Modern history of the multiverse begins when the universe just collectively woke up. Memories were blank or unreliable. Photographs taken during this period in time just happen to be blurry now. Records of anything that happened during this period in time, they are all garbled or unreadable. If you can find anything. As one can imagine, in many societies this caused riots and panic. People who had developed skills, knowledge, or any relationships, personal connections, they all retained those, but they had no knowledge or memory of how they got them. A spouse might be able to recall thousands of tiny details about their partner, but never knowing exactly how they met. Nations who were at war, when they woke up, they realized that they were still at war, but they could not remember why they were fighting. This affected other realities or other planes of existence, as angels who were tracking sinners, well, they kind of lost track of their sinners and the indiscretions that they had caused. Life and time marched on, but any context that was needed as to why things were happening was suddenly gone. And this happened everywhere. Some cultures couldn't handle the stress of this, and they collapsed. Fire, famine, brimstone, all of that goodness. Many societies carried on as business as usual, because that's really the only other option there was. Now some species had an advantage over others, specifically the ones that reproduce the fastest. So you're looking at things like humans, I would argue the skittermander. Ones that reproduce quite a bit slower, looking at elves for example, they had a very hard time adjusting to this new history, because they live so long, their memories of who they were and what they were doing, that really affected them, and the elves went really introspective. They got really suspicious, and they closed themselves off quite a bit from many of the other races. The ones that reproduced fastest, the newer generations coming up just came to assume that this was the new normal, and the younger generation could go out and make a new history. They could grab life by the horns, as it were. And as time progressed, a new normal settled over the universe. Believe it or not, most societies are not interested in what actually happened with the gap. There are still your crypto archaeologists, salvagers, and scientists who occasionally unearth a artifact from this gap period and try to sort out and figure out what it does. Most societies, though, have taken to moving forward and reinventing themselves. Speaking of gaps, if you could help me fill in a couple of gaps by clicking that like button so that it is filled up, that would be fantastic. And if you want to get more videos like this from myself, then please hit subscribe with the bell notification. As to what's actually caused the gap, no one has really been able to say. The gods aren't communicating if they do know anything. But the most popular theory out there right now is it's a after effect from discovery of the drift. What is known for sure is that the gap happened everywhere all at once, although not necessarily at the same time. Time is usually measured in after gap years, generally referred to as AG. Now in the case of the Pact Worlds, it's been approximately 317 years since everyone woke up. There are different places in the universe that have woken up at different times. Some only have 275 years since they woke up from the gap, some are closer to 500. 
And again, no one knows why this has happened. Now, the gap is actually thousands of years, and I was talking about this with someone earlier on a, on a different video, and I assumed that the gap was only a couple hundred years, but that is not correct. The gap is thought to have been several thousands of years, and the way this was discovered is through several methods using astrochronology and probably some mystical divination as well. Although they can't actually look at the periods of time in the gap, they can go back far enough and start looking at old history. So you can go back to where the gap starts and previous to that, and from when the gap ends till now. And they've used this method to determine that the gap itself was several thousand years or several millennia. Now, when time caught up to the rest of civilization, interstellar travel was a thing that many civilizations woke up and found out that they just had, along with interstellar trade. Versite had their Aether ships. Eox had their bone cruisers. The Brathedans had their bio vessels. And of course, there was the dimension hopping gates that could be found in quite a few places and mass transport spells. While spaceflight was very common, and while spaceflight was very common, in the early years of when people woke up from the gap, travel between these places was very, very difficult just because the distances were so vast. That was until Triune ascended and changed everything. Three years after the gap ended, three deities combined to form one god known as Triune. This is a machine god of artificial intelligence. This machine god sent out a signal in an event known as the Signal, and every interstellar or space traveling, space faring society, which was everyone, got access to something known as the Drift. This is a new dimension which shortened, sometimes it lengthened, distance between places, and it made intergalactic travel much more feasible. A new land rush began and explorers went out among the stars trying to colonize new worlds. Much to their surprise, they found out that many of these worlds were already settled or teeming with life. Some worlds went to war, some formed peace treaties and made galactic alliances, hence the Pact Worlds and the eventual formation of the Vescarium. But even in modern day Starfinder, space exploration is still a very lucrative career. Magic and technology have also blended together quite seamlessly in the universe or the multiverse of Starfinder. Pre-gap records show that civilizations or societies used to rely solely on magic. Now a lot of simple things can be done with technology that you would no longer need magic for, but magic is still a respected vocation. That doesn't mean the technology has overtaken magic, it just means that they have evolved together. And corporations looking to do a job, they will use magic, technology, whichever one is cheapest. Traditional distinctions in magic like arcane or divine, those have also fallen by the wayside as many are able to access their magical potential through many different ways. Now, if you want to see a place that does combine the technology and the magic and seamlessly integrate it into its society, then you need to check out this video on your screen now. Thank you to all of my patrons who support me and continue to support me. It means the absolute world to me. My name's Nathaniel. Thanks for stopping by, everyone.